All right, how's it going, everyone? Welcome back to the Alex Pereira career run. And we've got a fight lined up with Hermanson, if I remember rightly. Here he is, the Joker, Jack Hermanson. What's your style? The art of fighting without fighting? Show me some of it. Kickboxer for Jack, another 41-year-old in this career. This is like, you know, the dad division all of a sudden. Everyone's like 41. All right. I've been doing a lot of interesting things outside of... Well, not interesting, but like outside of this game. I've been hyper-fixated on... Uh, my PS4, for some reason, it was sat there for a while, gathering dust. It hadn't had an update for a while on the software. And uh, some YouTube channel that I watch uh, announced that there's a, a jailbreak out for the PS4 firmware on 11.0. So I thought, you know what, I'll fire up my PS4, see what firmware I had installed on it last. And lo and behold, it was sitting at 11.0. So I didn't really have to do much. Anyway, I've got that gold hen running on it now. So my, my PS4 is officially jailbroken which I never thought I'd see. Uh, I think the last jailbreak we had was 9.0 firmware, and that was two years ago. And here we are two years later, and some clever hackers and modders and coders and whatnot have figured out a, an exploit for the 11.0 uh, firmware. Um, if you want to know more about that, there's a YouTube channel called Modded Warfare. Um, go and check that out. He's got a full setup on how you get it done. Um, so, yeah, I've been... Been lucky enough to play, uh, been getting back into Bloodborne a little bit. Uh, you know, you can apply a 60 FPS patch to that game if you've got a jailbroken PS4. I've uh, just been playing some some PS4 games anyway, which unlock 60 FPS patches. I've been playing uh, Batman Arkham Knight. I've got like a full save file on that with uh, all, everything completed. So I was running around just getting into some fights and 60, 60 FPS, which is lovely. Same for Red Dead Redemption 2. I think there's a 60 FPS patch for that. So yeah, bit of Bloodborne as well on 60 FPS. Been dying to play that at 60 frames for a long time. So that's what I've been up to. Still waiting on me fucking punch bag stuff to come. Got to wait for this stand. I've got all the other stuff. Got the bag and that, but just waiting on the on the stand to turn up, which has taken forever. So yeah, I've uh, been like hyper fixated on things outside of doing recording. So you'll have to forgive me if it's took a while to get these videos done lately. But anyway, here we are. So let's get this, how long we got for Jack here? Five weeks. Let's say, uh, let's get it done. I'll meet, meet you back here when it's over. All right, that's the camp for Hermanson done. Andrew saying, don't blink, don't blink, I'll miss this one or something like that. Joel Blair, I'm speechless after that last KO by Alex Bahira. So yeah, camp done, sorry, for Jack Hermanson. A 25-11-0 record for Jack. Let's see if we've got any injuries to fix. We did get the... I got the left roundhouse to the body levelled up to three stars. Normally I don't bother with that. I tend to just focus on the lead switch kick to the body, but it turns out the the lead body roundhouse is actually a quicker strike to throw now since the nerf on the switch kick to the body. You know, the wind-up on the, the speed of the animation has been nerfed significantly, so yeah, the just the normal left body roundhouse is actually quicker. So I've uh, got that to three stars now. I'll have to try and get the right leg done as well, the right roundhouse to the body. Nothing else to do here. Looking in good shape, almost maximum peak fitness. All right, let's get to the octagon for Jack Hermanson. <laughs> hey, it's gonna be tough to get that performance bonus now. These two, they put on a show. Yeah, is that crazy? They only had three rounds though. You're the main event. You got five rounds to put on the show. Guess we ended early. I'm ready for whatever. Prepare for the worst. Expect the best, right? Damn right. All right, then let's go. Let's do this. Let's do this. <laughs> let's do yeah. this. Out of American Alex Pereira. Oh, we got walkouts. You know what that means. I'll have edited in Alex's entrance music. I fucking love his entrance music. I just listen to that song just on repeat sometimes. So I'm going to splice it in. Finally been waiting to do that in this career. And now we get the chance to do it. Interesting matchup and a lot of people focused on this kickboxer trying to make a real concerted run. A lot of interesting MMA drama news coming out lately. Did anyone see the MMA guru video of John Jones being a, a closet uh, homosexual? Like, not that there's anything wrong with that. It's... It's completely fine, YouTube, it's all right. But Guru putting it out there and Jones biting on it. Fucking hook, line and sinker. He didn't deny any of the uh, any of the things in the video to Jones. He just, you know, 
slagged off guru being like a you know a basement dweller the typical like responses that anyone would give to you know just an average joe youtuber you know making videos at home and joe just uh, john just coming out with some nonsense like he doesn't have a green screen or anything like what why should you have a green screen like just because you saw someone with a green screen on twitch one day and you thought that's what a streamer is it's better when people do it without all that fancy fucking shit you know if you cast your mind back to when youtube first started it was youtube like you and me average joes just uploading stuff to the internet and nobody had green screens back then nobody had all this fancy soundproofing i mean it's for the better sometimes you know the quality sometimes if you're investing good gear the, the quality and production of your of your uploads can be uh, can be a lot better but uh, yeah it's not youtube anymore it's corporation tube like all the corporate fucking news uh, tv news channels and tv television programs channels quickly realized that oh no one's watching our shit anymore where are they all where have they all gone oh they've jumped to social media and uh, online on-demand services and youtube so what what do we need to do we need to put all of our garbage on there so now we end up with like you know jimmy kimmel and all these other fucking millionaires it were already fucking loaded coming onto youtube and just making even more money so the average Joes like you and me who have to fight tooth and nail to get our channels sort of like recognised by the algorithm. But now now you've got like Michael Bispin, you know, like he just makes a YouTube channel after a successful MMA career. And now he's he doesn't have to reach 4,000 hours watch time to reach monetization because he can just do it in one fucking video. But people like me are having to fucking fight, like I say, tooth and nail to get any kind of monetary gain from anything like this. But... Uh, I forgot what my initial fucking thought was there. I just went off on a massive tangent. So here we are, battle of the 40-year-olds. 42 for Alex, 41 for Jack. We've got a slight reach advantage. Here's Bruce for introductions. This is the main event of the evening. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Jack the Joker Hermanson. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Alex Politano. No, that's what I was ranting about, wasn't it? It was the John Jones uh, LGBTQ or whatever it fucking is video. Yeah, just uh, just to come out and acknowledge it, John. Don't stay in that closet. You'll have a, a huge fan base waiting for you. You know, and it doesn't necessarily mean that Jones is gay. I mean, at a push, he's, he'll be bisexual, you know what I mean? But there's no way that man's 100% straight. Like, I didn't even pay attention to it. Like, I, you know, notice it myself over the years. But when Guru put that video together, there was just too many, uh, too many instances. You know, it's like, oh, John Jones is 100% not totally straight. Definitely bisexual or a push. You know, who the fuck walks, uh, drives around Los Angeles at stupid o'clock in the morning? You know, half cut. Like, you're either looking for a brass, in other words, you're looking for a, a, a you know, a prostitute, a lady of the night, you're looking for drugs, or you're looking to get, you're looking to pound someone's shit in. You know what I mean? Oh, Jack, getting the crucifix. I need to fucking pay attention here. Oh, that Kimura looks tight. Locked in on the Kimura now. Now he's got to get his knees above the head. Oh, this is a terrible start for Alex. What is going on? I couldn't defend any of that. Fucking hell, I took some big damage there. I need to pay attention to the talk about John Jones. I don't even know what just happened over the last couple of minutes. I remember getting it with some strikes on the feet and then I'm getting fucking pounded on the floor. Big ground Hermanson's pass is denied. Can I get the full guard back? Now drops Finally. That closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a sufficient or big ground and pound. Oh, postures up and lands a huge head strike there. Nicely. Oh, I thought it slipped that elbow. Just waiting for me, moment, coach. Oh, big elbow. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice 
Oh, double denial there, and he's still saying that. Jack's no joke when it comes to wrestling, so I shouldn't be trying to, like, just get up off a transition here. Should be, like, waiting for the stand-up. A couple of fakes and biting on all three of them. Oh, that's the sweep. Nice, Alex. Uses to get back up. Right, reset now. That... Oh, okay. Or oh, just dive back into the guard. <laughs> and Jack just defying gravity there. Did you see that? Just fucking floated. Oh, just marches straight into that switch step, mate. Oh, we might get this. He's got it again. He's turning takedowns. Fucking hell, this is not good, this. And again, going for the Kimura. Oh, I'm surprised I got up there. I'm actually amazed by that. So Jack gone for multiple shots already, so I've got to be a bit more... It's the turn and takedowns that are getting me. Nice elbow up against the cage there. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Gonna be looking to punish that body of Jack's gonna be relentlessly going for takedowns. Let's get some work in on that body, eh? Just up, upgrade to that there. It is that left roundhouse to the body. Let's put it to use. If I don't pay, then why are you begging me? I'll yell in the octagon and go, man, don't shoot. He's going to get this. Oh, Do just dominant with the takedowns here. Is he going to go for another Kimura? Going for that crucifix again. Can we get the sprawl off? I'm not the gambling guy. You're the gambling guy. You can twist me up with your words. Fighter trying to pass here. Uba gets denied. Gets denied. Great job. Great recognition. Nice job getting back to his feet. your opponent was trying to do. Alex Pereira gets caught by that straight punch. Can't take too many more of those. Needs a jab there. Just out of range with the big right hand. Ooh. 20 seconds now remain in the round. 15 seconds to go. All right, so a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as a... Now I'm having trouble with these turning takedowns. I'm, I'm pressing the right direction, but it's just not a... It's not denying it. Oh, nice sweep at the end there from Alex to end up on top. Jack scored a shitload of takedowns there. Apart from the wrestling coach, <laughs> but we'll wave that off. So there's the horn. Let us now look back at some of the action in that round, DC. And he had his takedown game going early and often. Yeah, he had it going great. I mean, he did a great job of finding his entries, rushing to his finishes before his yeah. opponent could react and defend him. He should be very proud of the work he did over the course of that last round. Able to connect with a beautiful jab. Good throw in the uppercut there. Push kick there to the body. Goes lands another combination. His cardio is so good that, is, that it allows him to put forth this type of output of hits. When his opponent is done at two, he is stringing together four, five, six more different strikes. You know, for who's coming in there. Without having fantastic cardio. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Effective use of the jab there by Pinnacle. Oof! Vicious uppercut. Jack getting aggressive. He's got a lot of forward pressure, like, hasn't he? Oh, and another turn and take down straight into the side mount. Oh, he denied me full guard recovery there. Uh, half guard recovery. And shit, I don't want to be... Oh, I'm terrible at that position. At least we got the half guard back. Oh, nice job from Alex. Rolling over. 
using that momentum back to his feet. to the body. Well, some fighters, when they get cracked in the mouth, they respond well. He got stunned earlier in the round and hasn't really recovered or gotten back into things. People react differently, right? Some people just get back on. He's having a hard time building his way back into this fight. Hermanson's lower jaw now. Oh, that right straight here, him opened up a cut. Keeping busy now, connecting with those punches. Three minutes now to go in round two. When both are prepared. Oof. <laughs> See that little fucking levitation he did there? That knee to the body hurt him. Straight right hand now just misses. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Hermanson's nose is bleeding now. I'm having a lot of trouble with these turn and take downs. I'm, I'm pressing the, the right direction. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, he gets denied. Block! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. Good solid strike on the ground. Another ground and pound strike lands. Under two minutes now in round two. Oh, well, there's a denial. Just snaps me back down. But it is tough as it gets, but how about the size of that bruise starting to form on his right side? All right, so not enough action there on the ground. Wait for him to come in. Brings the fight back to the feet, and we are back underway. Oh, well, nice head kick there from Jack. Busy. What do they say, DC? Punches in bunches? Punches in bunches. He's landing them upside his opponent's head over and over again. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Beautiful strike there as he continues to attack that cut. Cut man's going to have some work to do. Oh, try to, to do it between rounds. But that's why sort of dash in there and do that lunge and hook up the, the, the input. And they are going to need him right now. Because this cut is getting worse, and it's only going to continue to get worse because he has got a killer in front. Oh! <laughs> Vicious upper cut up the middle. Like the beginning of the end. Jack's recovered though. Don't want to go charging in. It's going to be a desperation shot. There it is. Alex Pereira gets back up here. Oh, and he caught the kick. Oh God! I, I think he got his block up there, but I don't know. A bit of blood flew out of his out of his face. Oh, nice! He faked the shot there into a the punch into the takedown. Wasn't expected that. Well, no surprise to see him rinse and repeat as he continues to target that swelling upstairs. Targeting that swollen eye, getting back after him, making him work, and recognizing like, hey, this is my path. I want to pass into the side bounce straight away. Final seconds here. Don't want to be taking too much damage here. It's going to run out of time anyway. Steps over into the mount. The clock's going to burn out. Going for the side choke, and he had it. I didn't bother trying to defend that with the clock ticking down. the horn sounded, safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So, back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, back to the stool, and he is officially swole, and I'm not talking about muscles. He is swollen up top. I mean, he looks bad. It's because he was too stationary. He was on the receiving end of too many big shots. He was beat up. He was battered. He was bruised. And look at all the swelling. It shows that he has taken a oh. kick right out oh. of the right elbow. Thought that was going to knock him down. At least that flying knee. That body's hurting a bit. Round three of a five round fight. Only just remembered that one in a five round it. Defense is there. Now some spacing as they exit the clinch. Oh, 
I hate that right shit. Hand. That, that, that lunging straight off the, the touch counter on the front kick to the body. In bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Oh, God, the input route fucked up there on the, the switch, definitely. Oh, beautiful combination. Oh, front kick up the middle. are coming he better start moving he cannot stand here and eat these uppercuts her manson's lower jaw is extremely swollen now Oof, vicious knee to the face her manson's going for the body well he continues to Ooh, went for the liver there but jack just got that elbow in to defend it i mean volume wasting anything he's so accurate out there lands the low kick all right so we'll see if he goes for another takedown here and it's the way he's approaching the set up too that i think you oh nice spin and elbow I love it, man. I love how he's doing the left hook and almost pulling himself oh just got a chin and granite just taking that knee well there's a swing and a miss his cardio is really abandoning him at this stage of the fight and sometimes when you miss it can tax your gas tank even further so Let's see if he can preserve some stamina and try to figure out a way to get back in this fight. Hermanson's blocking well now. Made the adjustment, protecting what is an already damaged nose. Oh, nice combination. Hermanson's nose is just donating blood by the second here. I'm not so sure that nose isn't broken, DC. Oh, he blocked that punch. Nicely done defensively. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to win. So we have passed the midway point in the fight. Oh, that Ooh, Jack's yep. still throwing though. He's fatigued, he's, he's busted up, but he's still throwing. He's got his head popping back. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Now some uppercuts. Ooh, just took a right up a cut, left up, flush. Oh, just out of range. Body yet again, just as he did in the previous round. Oh, makes one, two. Oh, and there's the switch step. He finally got the knockout with it. With a huge knockout tonight. What a performance. Let's be careful. I felt like I could have fatigued any time soon there. Like, I don't know. There's a lot of grappling early on. A lot of denied transitions on the ground. We got it done though. Jack, nowhere to go up against the cage. Bang, beautiful switched empty. knee. Here now, Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, ten seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Alex Poetan. Good stuff, happy with that one. First KO with that move. Well, I'm really enjoying that move. I might say add that to my arsenal from now on. Like, I like it anyway in real life, that switch step knee. But it's just something I never used within the video game itself. But I think I might start adding that to me. My calf and his arsenal from now on. Oh, the round's looking there. Uh, second judge gave Hamanson the first. That was arguable, that wasn't it? He did get quite a few takedowns. Look at that uh, longevity there sitting at the halfway point. I mean, the goal is in this career to go for two titles. Um, I mean, we'll, we should get to one, hopefully, but uh, I don't know about two. I'll try my best, like, but that longevity's ticking away. I like Uriah Hall, I've always wanted to fight the best, and Yuri, Maggie Thompson. 
saying some shit. Yeah, you're Raya Hall piping up. I've always wanted to fight the best of Yorick. Can we get in the octagon and do this? Uh, you're right, it's going to be tricky. Like, all those spinning shit techniques. Um, sure, why not? I don't mind you're right. He's a nice guy. Bo Nickel. We'll, 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 he's in the rear view mirror now. We've put him behind us. Let's see if we can get... Oh, there he is. I was wondering if you're going to offer Uriah with the social media interaction there. Four and a half stars. What's your style? The art of fighting without fighting? Show me some of it. I mean, it's going to be kickboxer, surely. Yeah. Another 45-year-old. We're in the dad division now. Get that sign for Uriah. These spinning techniques always give me shit. If I'm, I'm assuming his AI is going to come out and use them. I don't think I've fought Uriah's AI before. Look, very low fitness, so we're really going to have to get knuckled down for this camp. Get that, that cardio up. All right, then I'll crack on with this camp, and I'll see you back here when it's done. All right, that's the camp for Uriah Hall done. 21, 12 and 0. And I tell you what, it's uh, we're getting some hot weather now in the UK. It's about time after that cold snap that we had. But what the hot wet? What's this? Always look forward to Alex Pereira. Going to be a good one, says Matthew. Yeah, and... Um, the weather's getting really hot here now, so when I'm recording on hot weather, it means I have to fucking close all my windows. <laughs> so, because I'm living on like a main road, and if I'm going to be doing microphone, you know, commentary, and you'll just hear a shitload of traffic noise, police sirens, you know, mouth breathers talking to each other in the street. So it's fucking baking hot in here. So I'm fucking in my underwear doing this. I have to fucking strip down to me duds. To fucking do this now. Uh, Dev Keaton Alex Bahir is a master of can crushes. Oh, look at that. Accusing of, accusing of padded records. Yeah, so fucking hell. I'm fucking sweating my nuts off pretty literally now. But it's, it must admit, it's nice being in the underwear. Got the fan blowing on me. Got a nice breeze going through places where that need plenty of ventilation. Where the hell is Uriah Hall here, by the way? Bloody hell, he's right at the bottom. I mean, there's no more room, and then it's fucking last stop, Uriah Hall. Not taking him lightly by any means, that means fuck all. Right. Fighter Evolution, what am I doing here? Any injuries to sort out? Mop that up, and we're already good. Can't get any perks till we get the championship slot. I uh, don't think I want to learn any moves. Maybe I might go for the oblique. I don't know yet. We'll see. Um, I think we've just got to get there, haven't we? Let's go. For a... What's, what's Sanson Bank saying? You got this, Alex Bahira. Easy work. All right, let's get to the cage. No, uh, no walkout, so back to the fight, Mike. Scrub cards. Here's Bruce Buffer. Here's Bruce Feed intros. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Uriah Oh! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Alex Poetai all right, so I'll have to be careful here. I don't know, I feel like Uriah's going to be catching me with loads of spin and shit. And those techniques tend to throw me for a loop. Comes out with the inside low kick to kick right off the bat, followed by the right straight. Ooh, that sort of, what is that, like a crescent kick? or a, I don't know what that, like, what, what kick that is. Like a, like a side kick, but it goes out to the side and then it comes back in with the heel. That's a quick move anyway in this game. Gets up there quick. This would be an interesting kickboxer match, this. Look at the size of Alex compared to Uriah, fucking hell. Well, he's looking for that left hand, just out of range, though, with it. Oh, and again, that, that was more like a side kick to the head, that one. But those kicks catch me out. Trying to establish the jab early on here. Ooh, I went for that slow switch kick to the body. Took forever to wind up, and in the meantime, Uriah tees off a three-punch combination. Ooh, 
Ooh, nice low kick there from your riot. It's got me kind of hesitant a little bit. He's been kicking low, he's been kicking upstairs, and I'm guessing the wrong every time. Big shots exchanged in the box. Ooh, fucking just timed the knee beautifully there. Get a bit of respect back there. Ooh, and Uriah just sidesteps into a left hook. Oh, God. Both slinging hammers in the pocket. There's a nice check from Alex. Oh, beautiful kick to the liver. Look at Uriah turning into a wrestler all of a sudden. Alex Pereira gets back up. Oh, beautiful counter with the jab. So an opportunity goes by the boards. He had him stunned, nearly finished, and now his opponent has won. Another nice check there. He's got to deal with everything that he's going to bring at him. He should have got the fight finished. Oh, effective use of the jab by Hall. And blocks that hard punch. Pereira gets hit with a kick. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Beautiful combination there. If you are teaching an up and down oh, fight, look at that. getting that lead leg up to the target there. You're right, coming with a nice two punch combination as well. It's a master class in mixing up the target, mixing up the strikes, and ending your combinations with the kick. All right, doing work with the jab. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Oh, Uriah getting caught as he went for the body there with that body shot combo. Got caught with the uppercut. Oh, nice lead head kick. I thought he was going low. Fucking hell, one of us is going to sleep here, I think. Oh, nice low kick. Uriah's got me thinking about the low kick now. And I feel it's going to be the head kick that ends up landing for him. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Question mark kick. Luckily, just out of range. Came of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. All right, so he continues to attack that. Oh, he slipped the upper court and landed a nice left hook on the counter there. Ooh. Oh, beautifully timed knee there. And again, with the switch step knee, both got to each other early. Oh god. Could have been lights out if that would have connected that head kick. Oh, that one did connect, but there was a dodgy connection on it. He's not moving his head effectively. He's trying to be face first. Look, you don't have to pull that up here. You gotta move your head, be active. Don't be reactive in your defenses. 20 seconds to go in round one. Oh, nice jab to the head by Pereira. Final seconds of round one. Oh, nice footwork from Uriah. Getting out of the way of the left, lunge and left, but he gets caught with the uppercut coming out of the clinch. All right, no need to go crazy round ending. I need to get rocked again going in. All right, there's the end of the round. I'm looking over to my left. UFC president Dana White. I think he's both caught each other there. Right now. Couple of nice Incredible head kicks for Uriah. He scored a couple of low kicks. Oh, we got two nice switch step knees in there. There's the first one jumping over that leg. Just put on in one round. Both were hurt. Both were able to withstand the punch. This is where he got rocked to the uppercut. Bang. Go for the body shot. Luckily, he got that left hand up to block the right. Oh, right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs. And oh, that was a nice head kick from Uriah. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Ready. Eventually, he found Ready. the one that really did damage his opponent. Interesting right, kickboxing affair two. from these two. All right, so here we go. The crowd on its feet is this next. Oof, oh, big right hook as he came in there. Straight punch, you gotta do better than that defensively. Oh, 
Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot Ooh, of went for the uppercut the there, but he and these just fi fired off that extra shot just to stun me out of it. Oh, God, just good, good job, that fucking... Straight right hand now, just that front kick landed because that head kick was queuing up. Both sides with conviction. Well, you know this is the hurt business, and both oh, guys are Nice right straight to the body, left up top yeah, there. Both guys are compromised. Both guys have been beat up. Both guys have done a great job. Oh, of Uriah with a nice jump and knee there as I change levels with the right straight to the body. Oh, front kick up the middle. Oh, got caught in the exchange. Nice shot for Hall. We've took some big shots here. I'm going to go out on my shield, though. Not going to be looking for takedowns. Nice straight punch. Oh, there's a hard low kick as Uriah was planted. Everything works off of the jab, doubles up on it there. Paul's nose is bleeding now. So Ooh, and he just took a fucking flush. Nothing ideal about it. Knee didn't even fucking fight. bat an eyelid. Three minutes and change to go in round two. Oh, nice right straight left up combination from Alex. Gets back to his feet. Still plenty of time to go here, round two. Oh, nice block. All right, seems as though his sole focus is attacking that cut. And man, it's getting bad now. A lot of blood. Oh, rolling thunder. He should be focused on getting to that Bullshit cut. techniques. Making his opponent pay. He did the work. He opens up the cut. Now it's on him to continue on the path and make the ringside position come in here. Oh, he gets it this time. Oh, he missed with that right hand. Well, I think I can smell the blood at this point in time. That canvas didn't look like that a few fights ago. Blood is flowing from that cut with every passing strike. Every strike. And a little bit of fatigue. Set it in for your riot. Oh, nice oblique kick there. You cut like that. Every time a shot lands, it just burns. So this guy needs to try to find a way to not take and limit the damage he's taken to this cut. Easier said than done, though. Ooh, nice right straight there. Shirai went for that hit, like sort of lead and head kick. is extremely swollen now. Man, DC, his hands look good. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy tonight. I took a risk there, going for that body Great shot combination. Accurate, but he's also very fast. Look at the hand speed, right? Knee strike coming in his blood. Body kick now by Pudain. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the pocket. Paul's blocking pretty well now, so an adjustment made by the fighter to protect that already significantly damaged nose. Roll your eye going for the shot. He might get this hard drive to the cage. Ooh, nicely defended from Alex. Under a minute to go. A hard check low kick there. That would suggest that the leg kick is having the desired effect. Oh, nice kick. Still a bit hesitant to engage with him, like in case something fucking flashy comes out. Oh, went for the left head kick. Nice job to pull his head out the way. He's been working hard defensively. Kick block there. Nice jab by Pedro. 15 seconds remain in the round. Man, these guys have some chins on them. Huge shots being landed on both sides. Now he's got the single collar in the clutch. All right, that's the end All right, of the another good two. competitive round. Right, so got to round each other. You see the cut man not wasting both any bleeding time now. The fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. 
Alright, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. Oh, that was a nice little there, right straight left hook combination there. It wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene. Checked low kick there. Jab gets the attention of his opponent. Well, new round, same result as he continues to punish the body yet oh, again. Opens up a cut there. In the previous round. Just stood in the pocket a little bit too long. Oh, there's that switch kick. Straight right, he misses. Oh, hard low kick there. Not there. Well, as we pull up the numbers there, bottom of your screen, the body strikes really tell the story in this one. That was a big focus for his camp coming in, and he has certainly worked that midsection to great effect here tonight. Push kick there to the body. All right, so oh, nice combination. Uriah oh, came in. Oh, nice head movement to avoid the left hook. Hall's nose is just pouring blood right now. Oh, just I'm landed some hard game, straights. I'm not sure that thing isn't broken right now. Desperation shot from, from Uriah. Nice work here on the clinch by Pudain. Looking to land the right. Oh, and a hard low kick there as Uriah went for his own. Oh, nice job to get the defense up there to block that head kick. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Oh, and he lands yet another strike to the body. Pinpoint oh, nice low kick there. He was fully committed to his, to his so boxing the there. Monitoring things closely at this stage of the fight. I feel like the doctor is looking at that thigh as well. Didn't look like that when he walked oh, out. Oh, no, went to too many times with that one. In his step, there is no more pep in that step. The guy can barely walk around the octagon right now. He's been beat up, he's been battered, he's been bruised, and it looks like we're very close to getting the leg kick finish. If you're gonna go out, go out on your shield. Oh, nice uppercut there for your right arms going to the body. Don't just walk backwards, go forward, make him fight you. Oh, well, the ref's gonna oh Vampiro in. coming he in. He's he's uh, <laughs> he couldn't resist any longer. He's seen enough blood. Things are twitching downstairs. He couldn't help it. Enough edge in a cage side. He has to come in and have a look. Yeah, he's gonna. There's not enough blood there for Vampiro. He's gonna he's gonna edge that cut a little bit more. So try and get a little bit more more yield. Now he's got to take some chances. He's got to go out on the shield. If he's gonna go out, because if he gets to the next round, I'm not certain he'll get to go out again. Just misses with the straight right. Paul's cut right on the bridge of his nose does not look good, folks. We'll continue to keep an eye on it, and you gotta think the ringside physician will too. Referee might call him in here. Oh, you right. Went for it. It looked like a jumper knee there, but he got it with a two punch combination. Two minutes now to go in this one. Oh, nice check there. I've got to watch my leg health because he has it. He has scored a bunch of his own and checked the quite a few of mine. Just misses with the jab there. Slips. Oh, went for the jump and knee again. Well, this UFC fight is sort of dissolving into a horror movie. I don't need to see any more Fuck. damage. Anik said a horror movie then? Like, <laughs> steady on job. His corner can stop the fight now, and he would be mad now, but he would appreciate them later because it will extend his career going down the line. Landed that left hook. Should have let that low kick fly. He had another strike queued up there. Oh, back and forth we go. 
gets back up again. Somebody's gonna have to press here. This fight seems to be on the table. Oh, big left hand there. Swing and a miss. Go. I wasn't expecting that kick to come out. Look at that head movement from Uriah there. A lot of whiffing there from me. I was wondering I was going to fatigue, and it comes. Do you know what I, what I I'm trying to go for the low kick finish, and I think it's going to fuck me up. Your eyes like getting very defensive, like in with his head movement now. Exhausted pain and then throwing head kicks. Trying to get towards him and do the jump and knee. Some decisions are different than others. And his striking really did separate him from the competition. He fought so well in the stand-up game that he should get a very easy decision. I think we did enough. I know Uriah got some good offense in. We both rocked each other, but we started messing him up at the end with those straights there. I was trying to go for the low kick stoppage right, there. The official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 30 27. Declared the winner by unanimous decision, Alex Unanimous you know, decision victory against Uriah Hall. Pretty entertaining kickboxing affair. He had me uh, very hesitant. Hit me early on, landed some good low kicks. We got it done. I mean, look at that fucking longevity though. 5.4. Fucking hell. Huge chunk of longevity down the toilet. All right, what's your eye hole saying? Congrats, hell of a fight. Hope we get to do it again. I mean, hopefully not, your eye. I mean, what, we're just having like an exhibition, like spar and match. Good fight. Maybe I'll see you in the gym. We can help each other get better. Oh, we got a free trainer partner in your eye hole. I don't think I've ever had that before. Quinn Cass, nicely done, judges. More mouth breathers lying in wait. Wow, congratulations, says Orlando Delvey. Bo Nickel, congratulations on the win and continuing to avoid meaningful fights. I've already fought you, Bo. You're just calling yourself an unmeaningful fight. Fucking idiot. Aaron Cauldron, what a boring fight. Where's the finish? Fucking hell, someone with a TikTok attention span there. Anyone getting lucky? I get it. Oh, I can't. Fuck, sick of these mouth breathers. Moving on. Marvin Vittori, the Italian dream. Number four. That's quite a jump. Four and a half stars, what's your style? The art of firing without firing? Show me some of it. MMA style for Marvin. I think I'm gonna take this. I'm ready for a, a big test here. Six week camp. If we just, I know we're, we've not like leapfrogged. You know, we're only at rank eight, so we've still got plenty of people in front of us. I mean, it's only Cannoneer and Brendan Allen. <laughs> you know what I mean? All important names. The rest of them though. Saying that, watch Cannon here or Alan beat me if they if they step in there with me. All right, how long have I got? Six weeks. All right, let's get stuck into the camp, and I'll see you back here when it's done. All right, last week of the camp, about to refresh to do the, uh, you know, just the evolution points and all that shit. And Uncle Egged Dana has got in touch. Good news and bad news. Vittori is out, so we're gonna get a mystery opponent. Drum roll, who's it gonna be? Obviously, I'm gonna accept the late replacement. Who's it gonna be? It's Brendan Allen coming off a, a, a title shot against Sean Strickland. Now I'm gonna have to eat me words. We were, we were slagging off Brendan Allen and Cannon here as being like, you know, non issue fighters. And here we are, we get the chance to go against Allen, number seven in rank, four and a half stars. What's your style? The art of fighting without fighting? Show me some of it. Jiu-Jitsu 
for Brendan, but he's got much improved in his stand-up over the last uh, couple of outings. He's no like K1 striker or nothing, but you know it's uh, it's coming along. Okay, we don't need to sign that because it's already penciled in. All right, let's go. What's his record sitting like? What's Sophie? Uh, a fight with Alex Bahir is Mike signal to go make some food. You don't need any more food, you fat bitch. Fucking stay out of that fridge. All right, uh, let's say 20, let's say 26, 8 and 0 for Brendan Allen. I was running my mouth. Oh, I better get my fucking injuries fixed, hadn't I? Jesus, I was, I was about to go to the fight <laughs> without sorting out any of my injuries from the from the Uriah Hall fight. I would have had built-in excuses then if I lost, but good job I remembered to fix them. Looking good. Can't do nothing with perks. All right, let's get to the fight against Brendan Allen. Let's go. This fight is three rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Alex Poetai And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Brandon Allen. You ready to fight? You ready? So this is a, another AI I don't think I've gone up against so far. So let's see what uh, Alan brings to the table. Like it says Jiu-Jitsu, but I've got a feeling there's going to be some, a lot of striking mixed in here. Oh, there's the shot and immediately getting the fight to the ground. This is a bad start. Allen's looking to go from the full to the half guard here. Opponent not having. It's the elbow there. What am I doing going for armbars? That meant to, that was meant to be a get up. Good job being a threat off your back and not allowing your opponent to get caught. I thought like he's not gonna just let me have that off two denials. He's probably got stats up the arse in his ground game. Herb is my only saviour now to come and reset this position. There he is, right on cue. Here's your envelope for a money here, uh, Herb. <laughs> Just make sure no one sees you take that. I thought, I thought the game had like bugged out there. I thought we were like eternally stuck in that like restart state. And they were going to fight. Did I believe them? No. So right now, I am so wrong. They are doing exactly what they said. It's turn and take that. Oh, I actually managed to defend one. A miracle just happened. Oh, Superman punch bullshit from Alan. There he goes. Lands another combination. His cardio is so good that his that it allows him to put forth this type of. Oh, nice knee there, landed by Alex. Try to get him on the counter. He's patient. His AI is patient. Now he lands a solid punch. Three minutes now to go in this one. Oh, nice. Ooh, big overhand connected for Allen. Going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping his tracks. He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. Oh, nicely underneath the jab. The nice done. Nice job easy. to get that single leg. Too easy. He has impeccable timing on these takedown attempts. Well, pretty good work off He's the faking that, that pass, but he goes the other way. Big ground and pound. This is where I'm a bit concerned. I might not be able to get up yet. If I can get this sprawl off. Oh, he just denies it at the last second. This is danger for me. Oh, God, nicely done just to recover the half guard. Fuck's going on with the camera. Let's get that 
full guard back, Alex. Good lad. That's three denials there. Oh, and he just still no, fucks me off, I guess, his stats in his ground game and my lack of stats, should I say, to add to that. It's not going to result in a get up from underneath him. Just have to keep denying him. Herb coming in again. There's another envelope full of cash for you, Herb. He's struggling to get like any kind of like rhythm going against him here. Bullseye after bullseye after bullseye. I love his ability to paint once and then throw that jab right behind it. It's nasty. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything. Oh, nice left up a cut there, Alan. Just change levels into that. the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Well, how about this approach here tonight? Technical striker, and he has gone mad. Very accurate, but really just an all-out aggressive approach that we haven't seen from him in the past. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Oh, well He's got really, block. like, patience AI, hasn't block. he? When both are prepared, these are the types of fights that we expect. Look at that great work to the bodies of the clinic. Oh. Interesting AI. AI to, like I say, he's not overly aggressive. He's like very, very patient. The ground game's got me concerned though, like his control on top. God, that was a flush connection on the knee. Just ate it. I mean, high pace, high intensity, all action first round. Both landed multiple strikes. What a great round of fight. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, second round underway. All right, DC, here we go with our next round, and we'll see if he can pick up where he left off. High volume of strikes landed in the previous round. High volume of strikes landed. He was able oh, there to goes his nose. Also very, very active. Like, his blocking is, is, like, ridiculous as well. Like, blocking loads of shit. Oh, nice takedown defense. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. His jab is good. There it is. Alan's nose is bleeding now. Oh, it's a nice trip, but there's what Alex was wise to it. Lands the kick to the body there. Oh, a nice straight there by Brendan Allen. Oh, you might get this. Yes. Strive to the cage. Easy takedown for Allen. Hey, the box to get another, another envelope full of notes. Found that flow state pretty early in this fight, and he looked back. He found it really early, and when this guy gets into his groove, he is hell on wheels. And right now, he is showing why he is such a high level. High That's got to be a get up, surely. Kickboxer. He is outclassing this guy. Watch out for the throw. I'll take the punches. Watch out for that throw. Oh, man, the blood is flowing now. I don't like oh, a nice combination from Alan there. And again, he goes for that inside trip. Oh, God. Tried to flash that knee at him again. Oh, problem. Under three minutes now to go in round two. BA is blocking well now. Nice job to protect that already damaged nose as he raises the goal. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Oh, 
he snaps off the jab yet again. Beautiful use of the jab, really. Start to finish tonight. Did it in the previous round and picking up right where he left off here. And another turn and takedown. He gets it straight into the side mount. So we have passed the midway point in the fight. Tries for the crucifix. Can I get it? Sprawl off. Outstanding combination of ground and pound punches here by Brendan Allen. Do you want some more money here? Do you want another envelope full of cash? Oh, actually, I'll take it back. I'll take, give me that envelope back. Oh, nice change up on the tempo there as the hook in the clinch lands by B.A. Brendan Allen. Oh, that body shot hurt him. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. The blocking is just fucking insane. Attempts the uppercut there, but it doesn't land. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Looking to establish the jab here. Nicely done by Allen. All right, so again, he shoots for a takedown here. Looks like he entered pretty well, but once again, not able to take the opposition back. Just a great idea. Oh, there's a nicely timed knee as he was mid-combination. Oh, he's hurt bad. Another turn and takedown. Fucking hell, I just don't know how to defend them. I th like, in my head, I'm just like, oh, you press the direction that he turns to. Side control. But it's just not, it's not working. Take his opponents back here and he does. Changing the position. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You got to think he's going to continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this. Keep going to the well Ooh, until his not good. opponent finds an answer. Because right now, he seems lost to it. All right, trying to pass here, as Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked. See if we can get another one. Guard. All right, the referee not seeing enough action Dave Dean going go to be a millionaire after this fight, the amount of bribes. I mean, uh, the amount of stand-ups he's doing. Oh, look at this fatigue setting in for Allen. Hard right straight to the body. Good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Oh, nice inside low kick though. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Nice. Nicely done. Round three next. Stop, stop. He might recover a little bit. He only gassed towards the end of the round, but heavy grapple on offense. Back to the from Allen. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But of course, as soon as he gets can't like get any good uh, good offense in. Like his his blocking is fucking ridiculous. I'm just getting like little poking shots in. You know, like jab and then straight to the body and not getting like big combinations. Got an opponent in front of him that wants to target it. He wants to hit him on the nose over and over again. I wonder if every time he gets hit there, the blood goes down into the mouth. Making it Ready difficult fight. to breathe. Ready. Third round Looks like he has recovered a little bit. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see oh, that front kick to the body. The Put him back in a fatigue state. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good side. Oh, there's another nice knee. I think he might have got the block up though. Down whatsoever. Take down defense is there. Raises the guard to block the strike and now counters with a straight punch. So defense into offense there out of the longer fight. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those That liver is going a bit pink. See that liver side there? And an easy takedown. Fucking hell. Was thinking about going for the body shot finish and I got fucking taken down. Staying offensive off of his back as he lands a strike from the bottom position. Great ground and pound by this man. Oh, some big elbows landing for him now. Man, another one lands. He's trying to pound his opponent's head through the canvas. I know he could just be standing up there, but there's a chance he might be going for a leg lock, so I don't want to risk and let him do it. Continuing to work out of the half guard.
Great job landing from the top position. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Allen going to work here from the full guard. Nice combination of strikes, mixing it up pretty well here. All these actions. Oh, and straight into the side mount. Three minutes now to go on the and we fight. Get scroll off. Oh, looking for the choke, maybe. Oh, what a moment there. Nice job from Alex getting back to his feet. Nice little hook on the end on the escape there. Yeah, the crowd loves the stand-up fight. So all that grappling wasn't what they wanted to see. They're back up on their feet now and they're popping for it. They're excited. Man, his body not looking too good right now. It's not quite Dominic Reyes against Jan Bohovic, but these body strikes really starting to add up. They're starting to pay dividends. You know, he spoke to us about this earlier in the week, how he was going to eat this guy up from bottom to top. He was going to go in reverse. That is exactly what he has done. All right, very late in the fight now, DC. I know we don't have open scoring, but well, look at the blocking. correct me if I'm wrong, he needs a submission or he's losing this fight. He is not a big puncher, so he needs to get this fight to the ground and chase a submission. He should get that. Oh, I don't know how he didn't get that. That's pretty bullshit. Big power shot there. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Stuff to take down, no problem. Big punch to the body. Yeah. All right, well, fatigue is certainly a factor here down the stretch. He is losing the fight. He is completely out of gas. I mean, he's been outclassed. He's taken so much damage. He threw everything he could to try to survive, but now he's completely out of air, and it's only a matter of time. Allen's been dealing with that cut on his nose for a while, and now it is just pouring blood. Takedown defense holds up. Busy in the clinch. Lands that I think that's been the story of the fight, defending the takedown and punishing him from the clinch, but it's because his blocking is, is too much. He's just blocking all the combinations. Oh, there's a nice little combination. Alex trying to put it on. Allen's just frozen. I don't care about fatiguing. Just got to go for it. Just got to be careful they don't get caught. Going to the body now with the kick. That one is blocked though by Allen. Oh. Slips. 30 seconds now to go in the fight. And now some separation. Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys doling out a lot of damage, and neither seems too bothered by it, but clearly both parties are hurt. Both guys are hurt. Both guys are fighting beautifully. Both are showing a lot of heart. Oh! He gets to the flying knee. Oh! Try for the lunging hook there. Two back-to-back -back decisions. That was really difficult, that. I couldn't get any really good offense in. The AI was just too fucking block intensive there. Great job. It was very entertaining to watch someone. But that's a comfortable W though. Should have got the win. A flow, a great flow state in regards to the stand up. He said that tonight would be very impressed with his performance, and I am thoroughly impressed. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 30-27. The winner by unanimous decision, Alex Poetan All right, so I wanted the finish there. I was really pushing for that finish, but I thought a dominant performance just couldn't get it. Against the BJJ fighter, had to Got the late replacement in the bag, though. Hopefully, we can get that rematch with Vittori. I'm sure we will. Another bullshit contract signed uh, three fights in a row. I'll go for that one.
Borashin, you... Oh, Paolo Costa's retired. Oh, no, that's one in the roster that I wanted to get a match with as packed in. And, and again, I've just fucking put Dana on blast. So one has fallen from the rankings, and that is Paolo Costa. He's out. Adesanya making a climb back up. Whitaker there, number one contender, Sean Strickland, the champion. Shamayev moving up again. Cannonier coming out of the... Blazing past the... Uh, the apex uh, mid boring mid card slot moving his way up to number four sniffing up Marvin Vittori's ass we want that fight against Vittori if we can get it is it going to happen now it is four and a half stars what's your style they are fighting without fighting show me some of it that's right MMA for Marvin so it's on this time five week camp and that'll do it for the next video I think I just hope some of the others don't retire by the time we get there. We've already lost one of them. All right, looking good. 20 and 1. I'm sitting at now. I'm sure that other loss is going to come soon. And I've got a feeling who it's going to be, who's going to deliver it as well. All right, then. I think I'm going to leave it there. Thanks very much for watching, everyone. Take care, and I'll see you in the next one.